I'm gonna have to fight something on this bridge, aren't I? Oh, you have a helmet now. Look at you. Fancy. More than one hit. More than one hit. I cannot switch to block if I go into that heavy hold. Is that from me? Yep. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was me. Come on. Why did that get rid of my heavy strike? You have a helmet, but you're no different than the others, unless you're more durable. Again with the awesome music. Can't I just push you off the bridge? You would think that would make this real simple. And it's very much an option. Hi. Just fought two of you at once. Is there anyone else? No, there isn't. I can't be knocked off the bridge, can I? That would be unfortunate. <laughs> oh, come on, why do you get stunned from hitting an invisible wall instead of rushing off the bridge? I see you over there. Get this over with. the wrong button. Get your smoke out of here. No, no kick. It's nearly over. Finish. He's behind you. That's a lot of you. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Is the kick is real slow. I'm sorry, what? It can vault over enemies? At least I think that's what I did. seem to recreate it now, though. No. No dash for you.
I'm just repeating the same thing over and over again, huh? I still have focus, are you sure? You can do this. Take it. Go again. Smokey. Come here. Behind me, Smokey. So hectic. Come here. No, don't break my combo. Whew. That was a lot. What nonsense is this gonna be? I cannot sprint. We'll all die someday. I don't want to die. And when everyone's gone, even the gods will die. We don't want to die. I don't want to die. Senua, stop. Stand back. Stop. Stop her. Stop. Senua, stop. What is this thing? Looks like a focus lens out of Warframe. Ask you to be a part of me. If you don't want to die with me, then leave me alone. I don't want to die, please. I cannot move to the left and right of it. Oh, the mirror's gone black, and everything has collapsed. It's not like the old stories, is it? The noble warrior facing evil in search of victory and honor. Clear dividing lines. No. Oh, this place is not quite like that. It's as if it knows that true torment lies within memories you cannot defeat cannot escape this is her hell this looks like the lore stone circle it is the lore stone circle huh maybe 
Yep. It's gonna affect my ending. The lore stones that weren't really the main story. That's a bit silly if that's the case. Weird that it was upside down. Uh oh. Mother? This is what happens when you listen to the voices of the underworld. They crawl into your soul and rot you from the inside. Defy the gods like your mother and the darkness will come for you too. Do you understand, son? No, I do not. You are a lie! She didn't defy the gods. She defied you. And so you killed her. You didn't pray to the gods. You prayed to your mother. Your mother, who was too weak to fight the darkness and abandon you. You tortured her! You killed her! You are the darkness! Oh, jeez! <laughs> She's attacking my friends directly! <laughs>
through your darkness. You're a liar and a murderer. And if you really are Hela, then I have a sword here that can kill a god. again with your lies. I know he's here. You took him from me. You have him. Dillian is gone. Dillian is dead. Let him go now. Yeah, I can't. Or what? What can he 
do to me that you haven't already? Fight me! Come on! Your own father. You betrayed the gods in search of Gideon, in search of love. Look where that's got you. Let go of your battle. Let go of redemption. Let go of Gideon. Don't let your darkness hurt anyone else. Behind you. I had my mic muted this whole time. Isn't it? 
take it. I'll be a, I'll be a slave for it. I'll fight with you at Ragnarok. I'm a bit beat up. Well, she had no hesitation with that. sees the shadow that it casts. The longer you hide from it, the longer the shadow grows until all you can see is darkness. When our time comes, you must look death in the eye and embrace it. As a friend. Only then can we let go of our fear. And emerge from our darkness. This is me, isn't it?
Never forget what it is like to see the world as a child suddenly. Every autumn leaf is like a work of art. Every rolling cloud a moving picture. Every day a new story. We too emerge from this magic, like a wave from the ocean, only to return to the sea. Do not mourn the waves, the leaves, the clouds. Even in darkness, the wonder and the beauty of this world never leaves us. It is always there, waiting to be seen again. Welcome back. This is where my story once began, and so it has to end here, because I cannot see further than this. Follow us. We have another story to tell. My friend, go with her. This now will be your story. Interesting. I know it's hard to tell how mixed up you feel. Hoping what you need is behind. I wonder if there is a post credit scene. Each time you get hurt, I don't or if anything plays during this. Has hopes. You're human there is nothing I can press that does anything, it seems. So best I can figure, it's less of a tale of defeating Hela and bringing back your husband, and more accepting that death is a part of life and conquering your own inner darkness. Definitely far more metaphorical than literal, with its direct narrative. I will see y'all at the end of the credits when we will go and grab the rest of the lore stones. Okay, so there is no post credit scene. There's also no continue now, but I can do chapter selection. So I don't know what this is specifically. Let's look into that. Let's uh, do this. Get those last lore stones. Here we are. There was a Northman called Grettir, big, red-haired, immensely strong, but he was afraid of the dark. It happened one night that an undead creature came to his house to drag him outside into darkness and kill him. He resisted with every ounce of his strength. He clung to the doorframe, but it gave way, and they spilled out of the house, and the monster fell back, and the moon shone down on its ghastly face. Grettir. Terrified, cuts off its head, but is cursed forever. From that moment on, wherever he was, he would see those hideous eyes staring back at him. Sometimes we allow our own fear to haunt us to our grave. Where are we now? Okay, last time I was here. 
Is it just like over here? It's so strange that we go to such lengths to bury <laughs> Wow, okay, yeah, I was gonna say, I checked everywhere inside. Inevitable. Man, that's so easy. Wow. Tisk tisk. Because we have no answer for it. Hervor ignores her father's warnings. The grave mound opens, and it seems to be full of fire. Again, Hervor demands her inheritance. But her father warns her that the sword is cursed and would be the bane of her family. But he relents and brings her the sword. She leaves the island with it. But the curse holds true, and death would follow in the years to come. And so, Senua, the misdeeds of a father have cursed his daughter. Thank you. Okay, this is different. Yep, yeah, right, there we go, right there. Okay. Hello? Sigurd's newfound power lets him hear the birds speak. And they say, Sigurd should eat the heart himself. Rain wants Fafner's gold. Sigurd should kill Rain before Rain kills him. Sigurd should find Brynhild, the Valkyrie, who sleeps an enchanted sleep. Sigurd heeds the bird's advice. He kills Rain, eats Fafnir's roasted heart, and takes Fafnir's treasure. And he embarks on a new quest. To ride to Hinderfell and find Brynhild, the Valkyrie. Real aggressive bird gossip. She once thought everyone could see them. I mean, that's what children say all the time, isn't it? That there are monsters in the dark. Speaking of in the dark. That only should her. Brynhild had once disobeyed Odin. There's she the achievement. Punished, stuck her with a sleep thorn, and put her body within a rampart of burning shields. Only a man who knew no fear would ever reach her. But like me, Sigurd is fearless and passes through the flames just as I did and wakes the sleeping warrior god. She teaches him the secret wisdom of runes, namely victory runes, ship runes, runes for persuasion, runes for truth, runes for healing and help, runes for perception and power. Like Sigurd, the greatest young warrior of the north, you must learn the secrets of the runes to fight amongst the gods in hell. Okay, here we are back at the gate with all the lore stones. This should produce a new cutscene. From what I've read.
He gave up Dillion to them, didn't he? That's messed up if that's the case. I'm here for Dillion. Okay, that'll do it for this playthrough of Hellblade, Send You a Sacrifice. I really enjoyed it, despite my, my failings with the combat here and there, leading to multiple, multiple deaths. Oh yeah, it's a tale of using, using the gods as an excuse to abuse people and treat them different for their differences and their struggles and also of accepting death and being able to move on and face your own inner darknesses I'm wholeheartedly looking forward to the sequel whenever that comes out I believe this year so until then I will be seeing y'all thanks for joining me